Hello everyone, welcome to the Anil Agarwal Dialogue 2025 and today we are speaking to uh, Dr. Rajesh Bhatia. Uh, we will be speaking about zoonotic outbreaks and their current situation. So Dr. Bhatia, please can you begin by telling us what are your thoughts about zoonotic diseases in India and the current situation that we have right now. Uh, Rajeshri, this country has been living with zoonotic diseases for uh, time immemorial. Uh, we have all sort of zoonotic diseases which originate from animals and infect human beings. And the simple reason for that is that uh, we have plenty of animals. Almost for every one individual in this country, we have one animal, either livestock or poultry. We have a spectrum of zoonotic diseases in India. There are few which have not entered India so far, like yellow fever. But otherwise, if you name any big zoonotic infection, we have it in this country. Some of the infections are very well entrenched. We call them endemic, like brucellosis is there, rabies is there, leptospirosis is there. Some which come up occasionally or during rainy season or after rainy season when the vectors are there, like Japanese encephalitis. And there are some which come in the form of pandemics like COVID-19 came and we were also engulfed into it. So whole spectrum of zoonotic infections in India because of its climate, because of its population of humans and population of animals. Okay, and that is very interesting to know, but, but how do you think uh, has been our management as a country of the zoonotic disease and outbreak situation in India? We are trying. When there is an outbreak, then there is a heightened awareness and everyone wants to act. But during the peace time, that is when there are no outbreaks, uh, we need to increase our capacity to detect and respond to these kind of outbreaks. In addition to that, we need to do good animal husbandry practices. We need to follow them so that the animals are also healthy because animal will give you a disease when it suffers from that disease. So if we can manage that, uh, we will not have infection in the human beings. And uh, perhaps the treatment part, diagnosis part, in not only in the cities, but primarily in the smaller cities and the villages need to be strengthened because it's the animal population is more in those kind of settings. And lastly, some kind of research in context of India so that uh, better management can be done. Uh, and uh, just to add to what, what you are saying, can you, based on your experience, can you also tell us a bit about what kind of gaps and challenges that you have seen when it comes to management of zoonotic zoonotic We zoonotic? We, see, if you want to look at the gaps, we can start from the top. That's, we don't have that kind of uh, uh, political commitment. That is, zoonoses are not high on the agenda. That is one. But more importantly, zoonoses are not limited to health sector. Okay. There, the veterinary sector also plays a role. The environment sector also plays a role. And more importantly, the people also play a role. Now, the poor people in the villages who are keeping animals with them, they are either illiterate or they do not know what kind of damage the animals do. So their awareness, which has to come through the government, through the NGOs, and through other sources so that they can manage their animals in a nice way. When we start working on these things, we need to think of four or five things. Uh, do we have a surveillance system? Do we have a reporting system? Do we have a diagnostic system? Do we have a treatment person or a treatment uh, infrastructure? And do we have a vaccines program for animal related diseases? Now we are struggling with these. We are working on this, but we are struggling. But perhaps if we work together, which is called as One Health, uh, the results would be much more productive. The government is talking about it, but let's see that uh, things change at the ground level. Right. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhatti. I think our takeaway message is, is even this issue is something which needs a One Health action. Like you said, it's dependent on human, animal and environmental mm -hmm. health. So really interesting to learn from you. And we hope you enjoyed this conversation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rajeshree.